like maybe three frames. Now when we play it, planetary extension of the internet. What we're saying is that we want much better. I don't have to have these two clips touch if I'm going to cover it with B-roll. I'm much more interested in the rhythm of the voice to make sure that it sounds like it's a believable pace so you don't hear the edit go through. So I'll use the position tool not constantly but a lot, especially when it's being covered with B-roll, to make sure the pacing between the first clip and the second sounds like the way they would normally speak. Extension of the internet. What we're saying is... Okay, so let's go to this that we want to standardize the communications standards the protocols that are used in space because if we're used in space okay used in space we'll just drag this over set an out go back to our shot about mars it's, it's at the speed of light it's shift i it's, it's, it's set the in at the speed of light it's 20 minutes one way for a radio signal to get from earth to mars and okay we're just going to pull that down Pull it up so we can hear it. They're used in space. At the speed of light. Okay, we got an er and an um. Used in space. At the speed of light. Okay, so we got that um. So let's select these two clips. Go up to the clip menu. Go down to expand audio and video. Command plus to zoom in. There's my audio. Problem is that I've got a little bit of a glitch at the beginning. He's saying um. At the speed of the speed of at this okay so I really want to have it start there so I'm going to grab this clip and drag it earlier and grab this fade handle and then right mouse click on the fade dot itself and notice that what I've created is a ramp up let's just switch this so you can see more of the audio and scroll down okay there's the word at the speed of light, and here's the um. So I'm going to bury the um underneath here, give myself a fade. There we go. So we don't chop the at, but I sort of hide the um. Let's take a listen. The protocols that are used in space. At the speed of light, calls that are used in space. At the speed of light, Okay, clearly a jump cut in the video, but listen to how the breath here and that um all work together to make it sound believable. Protocols that are used in space. At the speed of light, it's... Not bad. We'll just cut that a bit and try it again. At the speed of light... Gooder. All right, so by selecting both clips, go to Clip, expand audio and video, I'm able to adjust the timing of the audio separate from the timing of the video, and by grabbing the fade dot, I can put a fade on either one of those clips, and by right mouse clicking on the fade dot, I can change the shape of the fade, so I can minimize that um at the beginning and maximize the, the ramp up to at the speed of light. Let's go back and change the size of our clips so we can see what we're doing here. Now once I expand that, they're still in sync, they're not separated, but I don't put them back together because that tells me I've got something special with the audio edit going on. And let's try one more here. If there are existing communications Saturn or Jupiter, we can use them because of the standardization. That's why the internet has grown to is to make the space exploration effort supported in the shift I writing on the internet today. But what we'd like to do writing on the internet today. But what we'd like to do is to make the space exploration effort supported in the same way as we've been able to support communications terrestrially. So okay, so we'll just use that as our ending. It's not the world's best ending, but it'll work, and we'll type the letter E crank the volume so you can hear what he's saying. By the way, to get everything to fit, shift Z so you can see what's in the timeline. But what we'd like to do is to make the space exploration effort supported in the same way as we've been able to support communications terrestrially. Okay, now there's one more talking about outer planets I want to hear. Mission, we can use them because of the standardization. That's why we being JPL are hoping to have a standards for this. We're hoping we being JPL are hoping to have a Mars Telecom order, Orbiter in or, orbit around Mars around 2009 to support missions for the next decade uh, on the surface of Mars and possibly going to the outer planets. Okay, that's on my ending. Of, so we'll just set it, that in here. Of, we've been able to support communications around Mars around support communications terrestrially. 
are hoping to have a Mars telecom order, orbiter in or, orbit around Mars around telecom order, orbiter in, in or, orbit around order, orbiter. Okay, razor blade tool keyboard shortcut is the letter B. We'll cut this. In or cut that. Take this out. Play it. Order, orbiter orbit around Mars around 2009. Just leave it in now I would take it out later, but I don't want to waste everybody's time. Telecom order, orbiter in or, orbit around Mars around 2009 to support missions for the next decade uh, on the surface of Mars and possibly going to the outer planets. Okay, so what we've done so far is we've taken advantage of a whole lot of keyboard shortcuts. We're using Shift-I and Shift-O to move between the, the beginning and the end of a clip. We're using the letter E to edit our stuff down to the timeline. We are expanding clips. I use the clip expand audio video, but frankly I would use Control s because that allows me to expand stuff. You select the clips, Control s that expands it. Control s pulls it back again. I could pull these back again, but then notice that I can't see something special has been done to the audio. So if I don't expand the audio, I just leave it as it is. But when I do, I leave that gap open. We've seen that we can add fades to the audio. We can control the shape of the fade by control clicking on it. I've now built, and it's about a 40 second piece of work, I've now built my radio cut. What I would do in real life is I would tweak these edits just a little bit more with the precision editor. I would also get rid of that stumble where he says orbit or twice, but that would take me another five minutes and it would use the same tools we've already talked about. There's other stuff I want to showcase. So now the time has come to put some B-roll in place. So let's just take a listen here where that needs to be. Now that the Jet Propulsion Laboratory, we've been working for the last six years or so on the design of an interplanetary extension of the internet. What we're saying is that we want... Okay, so let's say right there, I want to put uh, interplanetary. Well, I happen to have some footage from NASA. Sorry, I'm in favorites mode. I've got to go show all the clips. I've got some movies from NASA, and I've got some Mars footage. Turn the skimmer on. I'm a big fan of the skimmer when it's up in the viewer. I'm not a fan of the skimmer in the timeline. So we've got some Mars footage. Let's set an in, the letter I, and let's find where that shot ends before we see the rover. Type the letter O. At this point, we could drag the clip down. It works okay. The problem is it's too slow. Put the playhead where you want the edit to occur and type the letter Q. This creates a connected edit. We've got audio there. That's terrible. Command Z to undo. Click this downward pointing arrow. Say video only. And now type the letter Q. So on the design of an interplanetary extension of the internet. What we're saying is that we want to standardize the communications standards. Okay, so we're going to standardize those standards. And, and let's get ourselves some space shuttle footage in here. Uh, let's set an in. And we'll set an out. Now, let's just uh, find this spot here. Use the up and down arrow keys. Type the letter Q. And we've got the shot filling the frame. The communications standards, the protocols that are used in space. Okay, if I want to apply a transition, this is a connected clip and we can't do that. We have to convert it first into a connected storyline. Now, in the past, with earlier versions, we needed to select the clip and then we needed to turn it into create a storyline. Now, with later versions, all we have to do is to select the clips that we want to apply a transition to, type Command T. Command T, and it now adds the default transition, which is a dissolve, based upon the setting you have in this preference panel. Notice under editing, transitions. My favorite transition length is 0.67 seconds, two-thirds of a second. I don't want to have it linger. One second feels long. And so now when I play this... Six years or so on the design of an interplanetary extension of the Internet. What we're saying is that we want to standardize the communications standards, the protocols. Okay, now the problem is I want to have that dissolve happen when he says we want to standardize the standards. It's a little bit late. Command plus to zoom in. Notice that I've got the transition here. But notice these three icons at the top. If I grab this icon up here at the top of the transition, I can roll this shot back or I can roll the clip forward. Notice how it's changing 
in the pictures in the top left, that's the out, the top right, that's the in. I can roll this back without changing my transition. I can also do a ripple if I want by grabbing this icon and rippling the out or grabbing this icon and rippling the in. So now, Shift Z, when I play this back. To standardize the communication standards, the protocols. Oh, much used better. Moving out about five frames to the left made a big difference. Now I want to add more shots here. So I'm going to put my playhead right there. Let's go back to the Mars rover. And let's find this shot. No, let's do this one. Let's type an in. Let's type an out. The letter I to set the in. The letter O to set the out. Oh, watch this. This is so cool. If, click off, click on. Let's say I set the in right here. And I know that I need a four-second shot. Type Control D. Control D. This turns into Enter the Time window. I want a four-second shot. It automatically sets the out by me simply typing Control D. This turns this into a time entry window. And type the duration of the shot you want to enter. And we're going to edit this down to here. And I want to put a dissolve on that. Command T. It extends the connected storyline. I now have a dissolve. Except 20 minutes one way for a radio signal to get from Earth to Mars. But what we'd like to do is to make it really doesn't look like Mars. What I need to do is I need to find the Mars rover. Cue the rover. Type the letter I to set the in. And now grab this clip and drag it on top. Notice how the clip I dragged it on top of turns white. That's how you do a replace edit. When I let go, it pops up a dialog. Now we have three options here. The first is replace. The second is replace from start and replace from end. What replace does is it replaces the clip in the timeline with the clip that you've highlighted in the viewer, and it uses the viewer's duration. Replace from Start replaces the clip in the timeline with the clip you highlighted in the viewer. It replaces it based upon the in of the clip in the viewer, and it matches the duration of the clip that's in the timeline. Replace from End replaces the clip in the timeline with the clip you've highlighted in the viewer, but it replaces based upon the end of the clip in the viewer and uses the clip in the timeline's duration. Confused? Just say Replace from Start. And now way for a radio signal to get from Earth to Mars. But what we'd like to do is to make the space exploration ever Cool. All right, so let's hit this. I want to find how much I've got on that shot right there. Off into the horizon, the music swells. Okay, we got to do one more shot. I got to find a planet shot uh, right there. Okay, so let's bring that planet out. Type the letter I. Cue the planet. Type the letter O, bring it down to here, type Q. Get them to sort of be nice to each other. There we go. Let's put another transition in there. Extends the connected clip. Transition at the end. And we're done. Let's take a quick so look. So on the design of an interplanetary extension of the Internet. What we're saying is that we want to standardize the communication standards, the protocols that are used in space. At the speed of light, it's 20 minutes one way for a radio signal to get from Earth to Mars. But what we'd like to do is to make the space exploration effort supported in the same way as we've been able to support communications terrestrially. We're hoping to have a Mars telecom order orbiter in... Now, let's see if we've got any more room on that outer planet shot before we run out of distance right there. Command T. Orbiter in or orbit around Mars around 2009 to support missions for the next decade uh, on the surface of Mars and possibly going to the outer planets. Okay, very cool. So far we're making progress. So there's one more thing we want to do. So now I need to put a Dr. Surf title in here and a courtesy NASA. Well, let's do the courtesy. That one's kind of easy. If we go to the titles panel, there's one called Upper. And if we select it, it looks like, where'd it go? There's a bunch of them. There it is right there. I like that one. So what we'll do is if we double click it, it automatically inserts the title at the position of the playhead. Again, anything I can do to save time is a good thing. <laughs>